Well then guys, it is May the 13th, golf can open and of course I said I was going to start here on the range just to see what I've got and one thing I'm certain of is I've got nothing. I had a motorcycle accident 30 years ago, a car on the wrong side of the road hit me head on, I went flying over the top, I did a lot of soft tissue damage in my neck. And every now and then it stiffens up, I don't know, maybe eight, eight or nine times a year. Monday morning, got out of bed, stiff as a board, absolute agony. So what that means for me is I can't do a proper backswing and a turn, it's a lift and a chop and a slice usually, or miss the ball completely depending how bad it is. And uh, I'm loaded. If this was a scratch and sniff video, you'd be able to smell the tiger bar. I'm loaded up with painkillers. So this is hardly uh, an auspicious start to the season. I've just had a few practice swings here. And I couldn't hit the mat. I kept missing. I couldn't get the club down to the ground. Um, so, um, this is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are, we can play golf and I'm crippled. Now I'm going to video this for my own uh, purposes. I want to be able to see what my golf swing looks like. Ugly as sin, probably. Try to get heavy when you're holding it, isn't it? Um, let's show you my first shot with a 7 iron. And I've got to buy more of these. To attach the uh, the phone to the tripod, there's a little spring mount, and it is cracking. So I need to get a couple more of them off Amazon real quick. Otherwise, I won't be able to make videos because I'll have nothing to hold the. I suppose I could cobble some of together with elastic bands. That's what I'll. Probably... <laughs> if I can't get it through the post quick enough, it... your videos will be brought to you by an elastic band. Right, I've got 88 balls in total. Yeah, that's a strange number, because here they do 22s and 44s, not um, 25s and 50s. So i got 88 balls. I put nine pickups in the bag to hit with the woods at the end, assuming that I can get to the end without screaming in pain. Let's get cracking. Let me show you my first shot, and then... Uh, I'll show you a few other shots throughout. I mean, range sessions aren't that exciting, are they? But it's the first day. Got to show you something. And uh, where's the robots? There you go. We got the robots going around picking up balls. A bit strange seeing them go around. Right, with these uh, true strike mats, you don't need to put anything on the floor to line up to because they're covered in lines anyway. Should be going just right at the 250 marker, way in the distance. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like. I call that a success. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to keep recording just so that I can watch myself later. That sounds a bit sick, doesn't it? But I want to know what my swing is doing, and the only way I can do that is with with a bit of video. So uh, I'm going to crack on, and I'll speak to you later.
just hit some pickups all over the place. God, my lower back's killing me now as well. Um, I'm about 50 yards down on carry. I'm carrying it maybe 190 yards at best. Such is life. Four range balls left. I'll just hit some wedges. This is all very sad and very disappointing. Never mind. We'll get back into it when I'm fit. You are looking at the face of pain and disappointment. Yeah, so I can't swing. I can't swing right. Um, most of the balls are weak and to the right. Got a shank in there, a couple of thins, a couple of fats. But some good shots too when I've timed it properly. Now, this pain and this stiffness could ease in three days, or it might be three weeks. I was going to finish on some woods, but I don't want to roof my new woods. I've hit the driver off the tall tea peg because uh, the driver is the size of a frying pan, but I don't particularly want to hit my three wood and five wood and roof them. As for the driver, sort of like low ball flight, little short, straight enough though, you know, a bit OMP like, you know. God, I feel like OMP. Oh, God, so much pain. Um, codeine um, just isn't enough, obviously. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. I've got nine holes tomorrow night at Lillybrook, because you can only book nine holes at a time at the moment to give everyone a chance. So Thursday the 14th, I'm playing the back nine. And then Saturday the 16th, I'm playing the front nine. So my 18 holes are split over two days. The Friday, I'm gonna try and practice again. I'm not too sure how because I bloody hurt. But we, we'll see. You know, I've had this injury for 30 years. It comes and goes. It hurts, it ruins my golf swing. And that's why I tend to have so many lessons and practice a lot, because I'm always coming out of injury. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed your first day back. You haven't lost too many balls. And uh, hopefully I can produce a decent video out on the golf course without crying too much about losing balls. Right, I need to get home and order some new foam mounts, because this one is definitely broken. Look at this. Completely empty range. I find it peculiar. You'd think everyone would want to come out, but I suppose what they've done is they've come out and gone and played golf. Oh, well, take care, all. Ta ra.